Welcome to my presentation. This is lecture 011. Double integration method for determinate beams. Example. Find the value of slope and deflection of the figure shown at point C using double integration method. Solution. Now for the reactions. Sa point A, mayroon tayong 22 kips. Then sa point B, we have 58 kips. Since yung required na sa point C, so kailangan natin i-cut yung segment PC malapit-lapit sa C at a distance X from A. Then we have moment. Then yung uniform load, kailangan natin i-extend para sa boundary conditions. Then magma-minus tayo sa ibaba para balansi pa rin. Okay. Then we have point O prime. Using summation of moment at point O prime is equal to 0. Considering counterclockwise is positive. So M minus 22 times X plus 3 times X times X over 2 minus 3 times x minus 20 times x minus 20 over 2 minus 58 times x minus 20 is equal to 0. To simplify, m is equal to 22x minus 3 halves times x squared plus 3 halves times x minus 20 raised to 2 plus 58 times x minus 20 okay so yung m is equal to ei times double prime uh, y double prime Using double integration, so for EI Y prime, use power form formula. So EI Y prime is equal to 22 over 2 times x squared minus 3 over 6 times x raised to 3 plus. 3 over 6 times x minus 20 raised to 3 plus 58 over 2 times x minus 20 raised to 2 plus c1 okay so this is equation number 1 so take note these terms do not expand So for EIY, again, just power, uh, just power formula. So EIY is equal to 22 over 6 times x raised to 3 minus 3 over 24 times x to the 4th plus 3 over 24 times x minus 20 raised to 4 plus 58 over 6 times x minus 20 raised to 3 plus c1x plus c2 okay so this is equation number 2 now for solve for c1 and c2 now for the boundary conditions Sa point A, when x is equal to 0, so since naka-roller yan, yung ya natin is equal to 0 or yung deflection sa point A. So use equation number 2, 
at point A so when x is equal to 0 so yung ya or deflection at point A is equal to 0 ito yung equation number 2 so we have 0 values so c2 is equal to 0 so take note so this term are x minus a so neglecting values of a of x less than a so point b when x is equal to 20 feet so yung deflection sa point b since naka pin yan is equal to 0 so use equation number 2 to siya so so, z, so 0 yung y natin no so 22 over 6 times 20 raised to 3 minus 3 over 24 times 20 raised to 4 plus c1 times 20 so c1 is equal to negative 466.667 now for this slope at point c use equation number 1 at point C, when x is equal to 28 feet, then yung yc prime or theta c natin is unknown. Ito siya yung. Ito yung equation number 1. So, aiyc prime is equal to 22 over 2 times 28 squared minus 3 over 6 times 28 raised to 3 plus 3 over 6 times 8 raised to 3 plus 58 over 2 times 8 squared minus 466.667 or yung C1 so EIY prime C is equal to negative 706.667 keeps feet squared Okay. Now for the YC YC prime or theta C is equal to 706.667 times 1000 times 12 squared. So I convert natin sa region over EI. So we have 29 times 10 raised to 6 times 1500 yung i no? so yc prime is equal to 0 0.00234 so nakari dyan, no? so clockwise ok for deflection at point c use equation number 2 so, at point C, when x is equal to 28 feet, so, ano yung deflection sa C? Ito yung equation number 2. So, yung EIYC is equal to 22 over 6 times 28 raised to 3 minus 3 over 24 times 28 raised to 4 plus 3 over 24 times 8 raised to 4 plus 58 over 6 times 8 raised to 3 minus 466.667 times 28 so yung EIYC natin is equal to negative 3946.676 k fits raised to 3 ok now for the yc is equal to 3946.676 times 1000 times 12 raised to 3 so over ei 
So, we have 29 times 10 to the power of 6 times 1,500. So, yung YC natin is equal to 0.157 inch, no? Naka downward. Okay? So, references.